Hey guys, welcome to another episode of About Ukraine and this is going to be a, probably a really short one, an unusual one because I'm just going to spill my thoughts on the subject of what's going on recently in Ukraine and around Ukraine. So anyway, let me just get right into it. Um, over the past few days I asked myself this question, uh, is Putin really the dumbest leader ever to live? And uh, before you attack me in the comments and tell me how uh, silly I am, um, let me just explain what I mean right now. So as someone who lives in Ukraine and has family in Russia and Belarus, I think I'm in a pretty good position to shed some light on what people may not know about Russia. So um, what is really baffling uh, to me and I think to many people that really understand uh, Russia and lived in Russia, lived in Ukraine, uh, like uh, had the childhood, had uh, family in, in these countries, is that uh, Russia had a unique cultural and historical chance to use what it inherited uh, to expand its cultural influence on neighboring Ukraine, Belarus, uh, Georgia, and Moldova. And none of these nations were originally opposed to Russia. They had a shared history. They both, uh, they, all of them survived uh, 70 years of communist dictatorship. And after the Soviet Union's collapse, Russia had this unique opportunity to rebuild all these relationships from scratch. Um, sort of to have like an antidote or, or an alternative to EU, if you will. If that's what Russia really wanted, they could have easily done that. Uh, but Russia squandered this uh, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, really. Um, nothing happened, and um, all of this was through the fault of one person. Uh, that was Putin. I mean, perhaps due to his Cold War era KGB thinking, uh, Vladimir Putin refused to accept former Soviet republics uh, and uh, as foreign states, right? He considered them to be in his backyard, like something he, he could interact with and something he could uh, play with, right, to reenact his little fantasies, Napoleonic fantasies, really, with, with the Americans. I mean, let's look at what happened. Um, people in uh, Tbilisi, Georgia, they go out on the street to protest electoral fraud, a very legitimate and credible thing to protest in your country. But what does Russia say? No. No, 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 that's the color revolution sponsored by the State Department. Let's ban the import of wine so the Georgian wines go bankrupt. Oh, and let's find some bacteria in Borjomi, the water that Georgians export all over the world. And let's ban it from Russia for good measure. Oh wait, a peaceful student rally takes place uh, in Kiev on the Maidan Square in Ukraine. Oh no, let's uh, beat them all to death and say the Americans did it. They came up with this whole plan to disrupt Russia-Ukraine relations. Oh, and let's take over Crimea and stir up some problems in the east and take over some of those territories while we're at it. Belarusians are unhappy with uh, Lukashenko redrawing the election results to suit himself. No, let's give him Russian taxpayer money and fund his white police who murder and torture and abuse citizens. Kazakhstanis go out uh, and protest another Bayev clan. Let's mobilize the army to prop up this other clan. No, we cannot simply let afford a good dictator go to waste. We have to support the dictators. Let's not even talk about Venezuela and Syria. We all know what happened there. So all this begs the question, when was it ever possible to force brotherly relations on someone at gunpoint? I mean, doesn't that just sound like outwardly? I don't know. Is it any surprise that everyone slowly is realizing that Russia is a little out of touch with reality at the very least? After all, Russian foreign policy is only reinforcing this idea. They're just ramping everything up, they're drumming up the rhetoric uh, that nobody can ever take seriously. Uh, they're having the pushing the NATO demands that nobody wants to meet, nobody's gonna meet, and they know this. I mean, that's just like one of the things that they're doing. And don't get me started with Russia's internal problems. Everyone you look, it's like um, I'm going to cut off my nose to spite my face type of scenario. From the Dima Yakovlev case, this was a case that forbade Americans to adopt Russian children. I mean, Amnesty International said this is like the worst, the most sadistic move. Seemingly a good effort. They created their own vaccine, the, the Sputnik V vaccine. Now the vaccines cannot be mixed with other and used on children even. Everyone around the world is using them on, on children and, and uh, teenagers, and they're proven to be effectful. But Russia's not doing that. Why? All because of one person's ego trip. Doping scandals in place, Putin's palace, MH17, all of that is just the tip of the iceberg. But the saddest part of all of that is not just that, it's what Putin is doing to the future of Russia. 
While the Russian government is busy playing games, Russian citizens have lost more than a decade of growth. The economic uh, situation is in limbo, the stagnation across the board, and there's greater consolidation of power on the horizon. So let's sum up what's going on with Russia right now in three simple points. Number one, we already established that Russia squandered the greatest geopolitical opportunity in existence. Number two, Russia is confronting the greatest power in the world, namely NATO, EU, and the Western powers for absolutely no reason. There's absolutely no threat to, to Russia at all. Number three, Russia is spending $10 million a day to station troops by Ukraine's border, according to an article that Russia published itself. Unfortunately for Russians, they'll have to pay for all of this with uh, their future. For a decade of one-sided news, for clickbait headlines, for whataboutism, for strawmanning, for rug sweeping and lost potential. I mean, today's Russian youth, children, and those still unborn will bear the burden for years to come. I mean, if that doesn't make Putin the dumbest leader to ever live, I don't know what does. So this is a pretty heavy topic and I hope you guys can tell me what you think in the comments below and I really look forward to reading what you're thinking and uh, until next time guys, take care.